what's up youtube welcome to your video in this video we will discuss clean's theorem part 3 rule 4 so let's begin so the title is clean's theorem complete part 3 rule 4 which is clean's closure of an fa So the part 3 rule 4 says that if R is regular expression and FA is finite automata that accepts exactly the language defined by R. So this is a condition and if this condition exists then there is an FA called FA star that accepts the language defined by R star. It means that if there is a, a finite automata that exists uh, which accepts the language defined by R then there is also a finite automata that exists which is the uh, clean closure of that finite automata that accepts the language defined by uh, clean closure of the regular expression. This uh, static symbol is called clean star in automata. In the next few slides, we will try to prove the uh, prove this theory. So we are provided with this uh, finite automata, and we uh, we will prove this uh, by drawing this uh, transition table with three columns. First is the old state, and uh, the second and the third column are the character provided in the finite automata. First, we will write the uh, first state in our old state column. So, x1 equals to z1. This is our new name for our new FA, which is gonna be the uh, clean closure of the previous FA. So, currently we are in uh, the state x1, and by getting A, we would go to the state x2. So, we would write x2 over here and why is the x1 also here because of this rule with final state always write initial state so x2 was a final state so we have to write x1 which is the initial state with it as well and we have named this new state as z2 and whenever we get a new state we write it in the old state column and now to proceed uh, with the next input so we are in x1 when we get the input b it goes to the x4 so x4 and we will name it as z3 so this is again a new state we would write the new state in the old state column now coming to the second column which is x2 x1 so uh, when we are in x2 and we get sen a it remains in the x2 so we would write x2 here and then we are in x1 when we get an a it goes to the x2 so we would not write the x2 twice but once and why is the x1 here because of this rule with final state always write the initial state so x2 is a final state so we have to write the initial state x1 now coming back to the old state column we are in x2 and the input is b so we go to the x3 so we have to write x3 and then we are in x1 the input is b so we have to write x4 so x3 and x4 and why is the x1 here because x3 is an final state so with x3 we have to write the initial state so this is the reason that the x1 is here now we have to write this new state or into the old state column now coming to the third row which is x4 uh, if we if the input is a it remains in the x4 and uh, even if the input is b it remains in the x4 so it's a dead state now coming to the fourth row uh, 
uh, we have x3 x1 and x4 over here so we are in x3 and the input is a so we would go to the x4 so we would write x4 here and then we are in x1 the input is a so x1 goes to x2 so we would write x4 and x2 here now check the x4 it remains in the x4 so the answer is x4 and x2 x4 and x2 why is the x1 here because with final state we have to write the initial state so this new state uh, will be called the z5 we have to write it uh, in the old state column now to proceed with the column b uh, we are in x3 and uh, by getting the input b uh, we would go inside the x4 so x4 here and then x1 getting the input b again x4 so we would write it once and uh, same with the x4 uh, if uh, it is x4 then it would remain in the x4 so the new state is x4 no matter how many times x4 comes we would write it once now by the same method uh, we have uh, solved the final row and our transition table is complete now about this rule uh, repeat initial state a second time with a new z state so this rule says that in our uh, transition table we have faced the x1 only once so it is the initial state I if we face the uh, x1 again in uh, our transition table anywhere we would name it as a new state so we would name it uh, as a new z state now the final task is we have to decide that uh, which uh, which of the state uh, is the initial state and which of the state are the final state so this is the rule for that uh, initial state will always be the final state so uh, the first state would always be the initial state and it would always be the final state too in a case of the cleans closure and then to check uh, this state we would check that uh, if there is any final state in the z2 so x2 is a final state so this uh, would also be our final state and in the case of z3 x4 is not a final state so this is not final state and in in the case of z4 x3 and uh, x3 is a final state so this is a final state and in the case of z5 x2 uh, is the final state so this is also the final state so basically these are our final state and this is only our initial state Moving on to the next slide, we will draw the finite uh, uh, automata of the cleans closure uh, by using the uh, using this transition table. So I have drawn this uh, uh, short version of the transition table by looking at this long transition table, and we have kept only the z states. And uh, by looking at this uh, short transition table, we can draw the finite automata of the cleans closure so first of all uh, we decide which is the uh, initial state or final state so by looking at these i have written that this is the initial and final state and these are the final states so if i'm uh, at the z1 and i get an a i go to the z2 and if i get b i go to z3 so a and b and if i'm at the z2 if i get a i go i remain at z2 uh, if i get b i go to the z4 so i remain at uh, z2 and i go to the z4 similarly uh, with the z3 uh, if i get even if i get a or b 
I would still uh, remain in the Z3 and the Z4 and the Z5 so this is how you prove the uh, clean theorem part 3 rule 4 that was all for the video if you like the video press the like button and do subscribe to the channel and see you next time